So there has always been this dream of going to Mars, but what is so um, auspicious now that, that we decided to go to Mars now? What changed? What changed was private rocketry. What really changed was that in 2002, a man named Elon Musk, who's the chief executive officer of a company called SpaceX, and chief executive officer of a company called Tesla that makes electric automobiles, and some people think the best automobile in the world, that man decided 14 years ago that humans had to get off this planet to preserve the species, and they had to develop a self-sustaining civilization on Mars. He tried to buy a rocket from the Russians to send something to Mars. They wouldn't sell him a rocket, so he decided, I'm going to go out and build my own. <laughs> and nobody thought he could do it. Um, I was the editor of a science magazine called Discover, and I put Elon Musk on the cover in 2006, and I said that this little company, which had had three failures in a row of its, of its first rocket, was going to succeed. And I got at least 50 phone calls from people around the world, from rocket scientists around the world, who said we were crazy and this would never happen. So now we have a number of billionaires and a number of private rocket companies. We have a company named Orbital ATK, which has been in the private rocket business for 35 years, and just today successfully launched a group of satellites from this little rocket that it developed 40 years ago that it launches from underneath the wing of a big commercial airliner. Um, that rocket has had, I think, 27 successful launches in the last 30 years, um, and that they just did it again today. You have billionaires like Paul Allen, who is a co-founder of Microsoft, Sir Richard Branson, um, the founder of Virgin Airways. Um, you have the founders of Google are developing a asteroid mining company. Um, you have Jeff Bezos, who founded Amazon, who is now building very serious... At first, he was building kind of an amusement park ride um, where you would go up to 62 miles above Earth and come back. And, and he is doing that, and that will be successful. But he's also building a very, very serious first booster stage rocket engine that would be used in the Atlas V. So you have all these people who are entering the space business who are not governments. Un until just the last few years, you could not get into space unless you convinced a government to take you there because they were the only people who could afford to do it. They were the only people who had the technology. And now, individuals can get into space. Zobakit.